With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Define decay constant. So if, if I write down the rate of decay of any nuclei, we know that it is proportional to the number of nuclei present at that instant, right? So, since it is the rate of decay, so we will put a negative sign here. Here the proportionality constant is the decay constant. So, I will write down this, right. So, this proportionality constant is called as the decay constant. And if you write down the decay constant, it is the number of molecule decay by the total number of molecule per unit time. Right. So, what I can write down, it is the probability of decaying per unit time. So, let me write down this. It is state that the probability per unit time, probability per unit time. So, you can see this is the probability. If you see this is the probability in division dt that is per unit time. So, it is probability per unit time. Right probability per unit time of decaying, right? Probability per unit time that a nucleus will decay is decay constant, right? So, basically decay constant determines the rate of decay. If the decay constant will be more, the decay will be more, right? So, basically this decay constant determine. You can see if the decay constant will be more, the probability of decaying per unit time will be more right so it determines determines rate of decay of decay and uh, you can also write down decay constant is the ln2 by half life where half life is the time in which the nuclei become half right so this t half is the half life simple thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.